TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Please pay attention to these uh, warnings. Um, very valid. Uh, don't forget, we are partnered with the Blueprint Mastermind. Uh, we do got the group podcast over there. It is located right here, a matter of fact. Let's go into it. Y'all can't see it, but I can. It's and right a here. Dude come up like, oh, I'm subscribed. It'll be on the links down in the description. Uh, if you're looking for any of my old videos that had to get deleted off of YouTube because we didn't want our channel to be removed. Boom, they are over here. And this is Police Interceptors 2111. Let's get into it. I get straight into come to it. the door. You come to no harm. Shots fired. Crime never sleeps. Taser thinks, but neither. I don't want to Take that. Drivers. For the battle cause. Please. Please. Oh, yeah. And speed impact. I'm going to let y'all know, man, I'm running out of police interceptors, man. If y'all can find a channel with more of them, cool. Don't send me anything out of YouTube. Send me a YouTube link with this on it. It's Saturday night in Nottingham and the interceptors are out in force patrolling every corner of the city. Tom, we've got him, yeah. Oh, Bobsy and Nathan are lending a hand with a routine traffic stop. Our family needs. Well, are we happy that he's safe to drive if he's that bad a driver? Yeah. Oh. Did y'all know somebody called me, uh, somebody called me the R word racist because I, in my videos I've noticed black people? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, how? Explain it. That statement in itself to me is the R word. <laughs> you didn't know what to yeah. Directions will have to wait as an urgent call comes in. Delta 31, I think I've got a fail to stop. Fail to stop. Hey, for miles away. I didn't even know you could. Remove the laptop from the computer from the uh oh, sorry, mate. Was God, God. In. You heard him, Hopsy. Put your foot down. Hey, what's the exact location? We'll let the option know. Twelve miles west of the city, dog handler Chris is hot on the heels of a driver who clearly doesn't want to have a chat. But apart from German Shepherd Yogi in the boot, Chris is flying solo. The wrong side of the road. Ivory. Until Hobbsy and Nathan arrive, he'll have to keep the trio on ice. But the runaways just booted it into a sharp bend. And the consequences look to be catastrophic. Hey, if you're liking this video, hey, hit. If you're watching this video, I don't care if you like it or not. If you're watching it and you're in the live, if you're in the premiere, hit the like button. Y'all are the first responders when it comes to videos. If y'all don't hit the like button, who's going to be, who's going to watch it? It's up to y'all to get it seen. Y'all are very important. Y'all are, are the key essentials to a channel. If you're here watching this, I know it's 40, 50 of y'all. Hit the like button. 40, 50 likes makes a difference whether you believe it or not. It does. And it feels good, like as a create, like as me watching a video, like oh man, that's the most gratitude you can give somebody. Like hey, thank you for 
sitting there and watching this for an hour. Even though I enjoy it, it's not like it's hard for me to do. But you know, hit the like button, man. It ain't. As the Clio rounds the corner, it's clipped the curb and rolled onto its roof. Sucks. Fortunately, not only are there signs of life, but four lads quickly emerge. What's more, they appear largely unharmed. As a single crew unit, Chris is outnumbered four to one. Police officer with a gun! And now the driver and one passenger have legged it. Leaving Chris and Yogi with a dilemma. I never understood. Like, if you're outnumbered four to one, why, why, why go into it aggressively? You know what I'm saying? If you was an innocent pedestrian, would you go and you got into it with somebody, would you go into that argument outnumbered four to one with aggression? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Let's go in like, okay, is everybody okay? Blah, blah, blah. I got to do my job. Take a seat. Let's try a different method. Yeah. Wishful thinking. I don't know. Stay where you are. The wrong side of the road. Ivory. On the Knox border, dog handler Chris got on the tail of a Clio that failed to stop. After hurtling into a sharp bend, the Clio landed on its roof. They're all walking wounded. Stand over there now. Get your the driver and one passenger made a frantic dash for freedom. Police officer with a dog. Now Chris, all alone, <coughs> is in a catch-22. I've got two males detained. The driver's ran in the distance. He's ran off. I can't go because I've got these two occupants. I've just got the dog out and the driver and the passengers ran off. Mate, you stay where you are, both of you now. Does he not have handcuffs? Handcuff them together. I think that would eliminate a lot of stress for uh, this officer. Yes, yes, Nottingham Road. Yeah, come here. As Chris releases German Shepherd Yogi from the van, he hears the sweet sound of sirens. Backup has arrived. Redo, these two here, mate. They're your passengers. Uh, I'm going to go and try and get the driver. See, come, good boy. Let the hunt commence. Having pursued the Clio into Derbyshire, Chris has found himself in need of directions. I'm just. Y'all going to pull out the app three phrases or whatever it's called. I learned about this last episode. Start with the dog trying to pick up a track where they've gone. There's a lot of car traffic though, uh, and people have come out on foot to have a look what's going on, so. But it turns out the locals oh, yeah. are extremely welcoming. Hey? And point someone out by a property nearby. Yes. Yeah, mate, right here. Mate, come out now. That's Do not move. Him. Huh? That's chasing him, isn't it? Where's he gone? Where's he I gone? Don't mind, he me. Delta 3-1, there's one lad here. The lad has admitted to running from the crashed motor and he's not best pleased. Okay, turn around. I think he's the lad that's ran off after the driver. <laughs> Mostly it seems because he's been ditched by his mate, who's still at large. Watch him, yo. <laughs> Fortunately, interceptors Hobbsy and Nathan have finally arrived to help sniff him out. Drivers ran. Drivers the only one that's still outstanding. We've got three of the four, so Chris is out tracking. Dog has still got a track, so it's just a case of where, where he is. He's going to be injured from that, so we need to find him. It's now over ten minutes since the crash. Where is he? Over. Probably in a garbage can. Yes. Over. Good oh boy. But Yogi's got a whiff of something. Find him, Yogi. Where is he? And he's just set off towards a figure up ahead. Is this him, Chris? Fine, fine. 
couldn't. Yeah, anyway, what you want? Hey, you just need to speak to, yeah? We just had an incident, OK, at the minute. The road, all right? So there. We're detained under Section 1 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act at the minute. We had a car, failed to stop at the top of the road. Yeah. Yeah. Four lads have run from it. Our dog's tracking down here. You're walking up. Yeah, well, That's why you're being detained. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean, mate? I've got a cub down here. I'm mate, you've got injuries on your hand, consistent yeah, with an RTC. Phone. I've had these injuries from before, mate. But where's your what, phone? fresh blood? What do you mean, fresh blood? I cut myself. You've come out blood. in dirty clothes. Oh, my hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, yeah. five. Chris, he's got blood on his hands, this lad. Because I've got blood on my hands. I'm yeah. There'll criminal. be blood in the car that matches you, OK? So don't try and pull wool over our eyes. You could. I ain't never heard nobody say that in a real... You know what I'm saying? I've, I've heard that's been said in a storybook or something. Don't pull the wool over our eyes. We know. Not by the hair on my chin chin chin. would say he... In the car... In real life? ...that matches you, OK? So don't try and pull wool over our eyes. You could say he'd been caught red-handed. But he's got a story and he's sticking to it. Why are you here? I come to link a friend. Where's your friend live? I don't know where he lives, I'm meeting him. Yeah. You're meeting him? Yeah. Have you texted him? Is he under caution? Yeah, Have you yeah I don't him? know why I've left my phone. If you've not got a phone on you, so you're just going to come and meet this guy? What do you mean? I've left my phone clearly in the cab. Oh, no. I do find it hard to believe that you just got out of a taxi with no, with no keys, with no uh, mobile phone, with blood on your hands, down at the bottom of the road where the dog's tracking. But as the old saying goes, the camera never lies. He's in here, look, still trying to get out. He's got, yeah, he's night trainers, night trainers. Yeah, it's in white night trainers. Could be definitely the driver, yeah. white trainers. Yeah. The two lads who stayed with the car are free to go. And the chap in the white trainers is off to the nick. That's crazy, the difference of policing. Like, everybody's going to jail, buddy. Everybody in the car is gone. <laughs> in Chicago, y'all all out of there. We just and we fi they'll figure it out <laughs> in trial. Sleeves, passenger number four. I'm flexible, you get me? Don't watch. He's done this before, this lad. <laughs> no, I've not done it with cuffs on. <laughs> Nathan wants to know why this lad did a runner too. Then I got grabbed by the pigs. Then I got slapped cuffs on my wrist. And then you got your details run through the police national computer. He yeah, shows wanted, isn't it? Yeah. Turns out he's wanted for failing to show up at court. He's been arrested. There's... They're on about he's been arrested. For... Yeah, for the court thing. So he's off to the nick too. Meanwhile, the mangled motor, which turns out to be a hire car, is about to take a one motor, which turns out to be a hire car. What does that mean? A hire car? Like, what is it? They rented it so they can drive Uber or something? Is that what I mean? Is about to take a one-way trip to the scrapyard. The car has done its job, hasn't it? See, it's lost its tyres, the amount of damage. Yeah. The four of them to be able to get out of that relatively unscathed. It's very, very lucky. Police are currently awaiting the results. W impact test. The forensic tests on the crashed motor. The runaway passenger was dealt with for failing to attend court. And the suspected driver was arrested for failing to stop, dangerous driving, theft of a motor vehicle and driving without a licence or insurance. The investigation is ongoing. The illegal cannabis trade in Britain is worth £2.6 billion. Pounds. Three jars of cannabis, just over a grand's worth, maybe. And COP sees more than a quarter of a million plants each year. 50, 60 plants in here, same in the other rooms. It's a bad day for someone. Most of them grown... It's a bad day for the hood. ...inside unassuming residential homes. The last few years, I've been to quite a few cannabis grows within people's houses. It's fairly cheap, fairly easy. To... You know it's crazy? I've never really, you know what I'm saying, heard of these. I, well, I, of course, we know they're out there, but... I never really heard about them until, like, you, the UK. Y'all be going crazy out there with grow houses. Sort of get them set up. I think there's quite a lot of them going off. Some we catch, some we obviously won't. We do rely on intelligence from neighbours and passers-by for these things. Obviously, they do make a smell, depending on how good the ventilation is. So it does sort of make the wider community around these dwellings aware that something's going off.
it's the early hours of Sunday morning. Where's the yeah, received passage postcode, please? Dog handler Coops has just received a call from an armed response unit. Uh, defense call on eight. Miles away. But the incident in question is in Mansfield. We are a fair trek away. 21 miles away, to be precise. Yeah, I've got the thumbs up onto the air one. It's happening to travel up to Mansfield. Ain't no other gaps up. Yeah, it's received state five. Coops is now blue lighting it to a job that's unfolding in dramatic fashion. Interceptors Dan Machin and Rob Ely are assisting local cops who have been tipped off about a suspect residential property. Having gained entry, Rob's got a whiff of something fragrant, and it's not Dan's new aftershave. They're straight at the front desk. So wait, all they need is like an inclination? They don't need to find no, they don't need to get a warrant or nothing. They could just break straight in. Cause somebody called and was like, hey, I see you. That's it? Please. The house is packed with cannabis plants. Got an upstairs here, have we? But are there any human occupants? There's a downstairs basement, I don't know if you guys want to clear. Oh, okay. Yeah. The team split up to start the search. No prizes for guessing what's in the bedrooms. Uh, there's no one in there. But who does all the bush belong to? Jeddah. What? I don't know if it's downstairs. It's either a poltergeist with a penchant for pot. Oh, yeah. Got bad. Or there's someone here. Passport. Meanwhile, a colleague has just spotted a hatch leading up to the loft. <sighs> and as he tries to climb through, he finds himself in the firing line. Who's that? Get down here now! Get down! Who's that? Get down now! Please get down now! Get down now! Please get down now! Did he just say get down now? Please get down now? What? If this is the politest but raid. Get down! Get down now! Please get down now! He said please. He might have said police, but he said please. Whoever's up there is throwing missiles. Top floor, he's in the attic, chucking stuff down. Hey! Get down now! Please! Well, stay by, stay by. With no ladder leading up, the cops below the hatch are sitting ducks. You don't know if he's got anything in his hand. But Rob refuses to have his feathers ruffled. Chucking those out. Get down here! Listen to me! Police officer, we need to take care! Get down here, get out! For once, the threat of being tasered doesn't seem to have worked. Get your ass down here now! And Rob thinks he knows why. Do you think we're here to rob you? Mate, listen to me. Listen. Police. We are police. Yeah? The man doesn't believe Rob's a cop. You're police, are you? Yes, police. He thinks they've been robbed. Cannabis farms are often targeted by violent crime gangs who are out to steal their goods or to collect so-called protection money. Look, card. Sorry, no, they're sir. Police, look. <laughs> look, police officer. Officer. We can either sit here for hours or you can come down now and get it over and done with. Wait uh, five minutes. Why? Five, uh, OK. What? No, you need to come down. We ain't waiting nowhere. The property's surrounded by about 20 cops. What's more, Coops and canine cop Ram Bo are finally here too. Like they were about to do so like that. Five on state six. <laughs> For now, Rambo will hold the fort. Hey up. Which house is it? Hey. <laughs> while Coops goes to check the lay of the land. Oh, my God. And things are looking fertile, to say the least. Only in Mansfield. 
only mattered. Coops hasn't seen plants this big since he took Rambo for a run around in Sherwood Pines. That's nice, isn't that? Back, don't we? Is that easier? Yeah. <laughs> As Coops makes his way upstairs, get, get down. Rob's finally figured out where the man is from. What language? Al I speak English. Albanian? Yeah. Needless to say, Albanian's not part of an interceptor's base. Albanian. The elbows. Welcome to the party. Sick training. This is police. But come with the hour, come with the smartphone. Polizzi? Polizzi. Polizzi. Yeah. And having sussed out the Albanian word for dog, Chen? Rob reckons he's found the man's weak spot. Get down, the dog's coming! We're gonna put a dog, Shen! What? Shen, please! You're a police no yeah. problem! Come then, here! Yeah. Sorry, yeah? Yes, yeah, sorry, come down. Yeah, stand back. Okay. No, 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 no. Sorry, yeah? Mate, yeah. not sorry, but come down. Sorry. Albanian he may be, but he's perfected one English word. Sorry. 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 Get down, sorry. get down, move out of the way. Sorry, please, no. Okay, okay. Just chill. Yeah, I'm sorry okay. for this sophisticated okay, cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Y'all got it. It's just a language barrier. I get it. He's in there growing a lot. That man just couldn't understand you. He was scared for his life. With one in cuffs and under arrest. Sorry. And only in the loft show yourself, you come to no harm. Attention turns to the room he just dropped from. And only in the loft show yourself, you come to no harm. Dan and Rob are going in. Coops, you know we get up here, mate. They didn't say you have to be ripped to be on ARVs. I'm going in the loft. Yes. Do you want me to put it? I don't even think I can fit in there. It looks like the man in cuffs was alone. But all the evidence points to a large-scale cannabis farm. Pretty yeah. decent setup. I mean, it's rough and ready, but there's a lot of work gone into this. A lot of plants, whole house converted. It would have been quite a uh, good setup. The lad's been up here. He's been throwing down fans and chairs and all sorts. So it looks quite a mess. He's been grabbing hold of whatever he can to try and fence his game up. Not sure if he thought we were a rival gang or he knows a police and he's trying to uh, cause us harm. This kind of guy, he is not going to be the brains of the operation, I'm quite sure of it. He will be here as a gardener slash guard just to just attend to it all, make sure it's all, uh, you know, running fine. Back downstairs, the team finally begin to take stock. That's crazy. I've not counted him, but there's... There's at least 100 plants. Easily three figures. Cannabis production on an industrial... Three figures? Like, as in 300? Because I know, you know, in America, in most states, cannabis is legal. Rather, it be recreational use or uh, uh, medical purposes. And from my recent and prolific studies, I have found that they have great medicinal purposes. Stress, pain, PTSD, you know. But if it's not legal where you are, drug free is the way to be. Scale. Quite a common occurrence where people will rent a very cheap property and then they'll just turn the whole house like this into a, a, a massive cannabis factory. The idea of churning out as much cannabis as, as quickly as they can to make as much profit as they can uh, and some poor landlord is going to find this mess. Each plant is capable of producing almost 500 grams of cannabis and has a potential street value of five grand. Here, every square inch of the property is being used for either cultivation hey. or harvest. This is a sub-level, this is a basement. It looks like it's just a place of storing the waste product. You can see there, there's a big bundle of stalks where the cannabis grows. All these black bags are containing other stalks. And it goes right back into the back corner there, so 
It's, it's been going a long time, this grow has. It just goes to show, you never know who could be living next door. Nice little corner plot in Mansfield. These people live in these houses here. And then there you've got a uh, cannabis farm probably worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. It's been quite well developed and probably there for quite a while. Got one in custody for it, so real good job. And it's, uh, it'll upset a lot of people of uh, Mansfield who like to smoke the occasional split. Hatchman was convicted for production of a Class B drug. He was sentenced to 12 months in prison and received more than £150 in fines. All the drugs were seized and later destroyed. That doesn't seem bad for that for that amount of, of you know what I'm saying? For all of that that was going on, 12 months and, and $150. Coming up. Got runners back here, runners at uh, Strelly Street. Go get up. Down the bottom, they're just crossing over Osborne Street. On the street, it's survival of the fittest. See you coming up behind us, they're just ahead of this van. Where the most successful predators hunt as a team. How are you, gents? Just hang on there for us. Cornering their prey. Just box on, box on. Until there's nowhere left to run. <laughs> we do. So we are comparing the police to predators. and the whoever they're chasing as prey. What normally happens when prey chase gets chased by predators? What do the predators do? Tend to hunt as a pack, if you like. We'll go to a job as a team and naturally, by putting more resources in an area looking for something, your chances greatly increase of, of finding whatever you're looking for. She's just gotten out of the car now. So on the quick, please, everybody. She's scored. Somebody grab her, somebody straight to the car. But it's not just a case of throwing all your resources randomly into an area. We all speak to one another, we coordinate with one another. Dan, you stay in front of the car, stay in front of the car. And base our movements on providing the greatest chance of getting a result and getting whatever it is we're looking for. On a sunny Tuesday, the knife crime team have left the city centre and well, headed well. to the northern suburbs. Joe Riley and Sergeant Matt Daly are on the lookout for a wanted motor. It is. Why did I put the description of like what the officers do? <laughs> Hobbies and whatnot. Yeah, you're on about the phone. Yeah. As they hang a left, two pedestrians flag them down. I think it's the marker on it about the yeah, DQ. I didn't want to up to, but something, I think there's a bit of commotion right. for about four or five. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Lovely, no worries. Ah, here we go. As a kid, years on the force, four. Job before joining lifeguard. First car, Vauxhall Corsa. Joe was sports mad, but freely admits his maths wasn't quite up to the mark. Been flagged down by a couple of people. But Joe knows a successful formula for any job requires strength in numbers. Is anybody around commercial? There's a gang of yous. I suppose they've got a bit of trouble with someone else. They're trying to make out it's a bit of fun, but it's not. Just... I don't know, man. The way they're describing these, <laughs> for some reason, the descriptions today is. Been flagged down by a couple of people. We're just going to have a walk in, see what they do. With backup nearby, Joe and Matt head off to investigate the commotion. No, 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 no. The men were spotted in an alleyway up ahead. The sound of shouting should lead Matt right there. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's all one big misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. That's fine, mate. That's fine. Because people obviously are telling us that something was going on, that's all. But if you try and sneak away from the cops... One second, mate. Big Joe will be all over you like a rash. What's your name, dude? Why? So I need to know Why? whether you want it or not at the minute. So what's your name, buddy? I wonder, am I being detained? 
Am I suspected of a, sus of, a of a crime? <laughs> it's not long before backup arrives in the form of Adam and Dan. Let me just get my laptop. Stay here, mate. So, while the lads' mates shuffle off, Matt grabs the laptop to check his details. Why are you picking on me? Was I doing anything? Two seconds of your life, mate. Two seconds. Nothing longer than two seconds, innit? The lads got a record, but nothing outstanding. Am I going out, please? Yeah, it's your minute. Yeah, am I cool to go now? One sec. One second, mate. Just check him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice one. Cheers, mate. Thank you for your time. Joe lets him off the hook, but this fishing trip is far from over. These lads have just gone off. The one we've stopped, he had tenner of his money and he had his burner in his hand, so I think they're looking to score. Joe reckons they were about to buy drugs. The question is, from who? I don't know if it's worth you going round the other side, see if you can pick them up over the other side. Yeah, I'm fine, but it's still around the same sense, mate. Yeah, that's fine, mate. The team have got units positioned all over the neighbourhood. But round here, it's a rabbit warren of alleyways and dead ends. Every town looked the same. Luckily, Dan's got the eyes of a hawk. What's that? Bingo. Got runners back here, runners at Strelly Street. Get towards Latham if you can. Adam's quick out the traps. It's a lad that was with Ellis Chilton earlier. But smoking this lot out won't be easy. May I'd like a bit of a do rag on. They've got them between Lime Street and Strelly Street. They're in sort of gardens around there. The runners, who are a different group to the men from the alleyway, have disappeared into a row of gardens. I've come straight round. I know when I was younger, we we, we would be, not even just be doing nothing. It was just, we see police and we would just run, just for no reason. Because <laughs> you know what I'm saying, in certain neighborhoods, they taught that, shoot, don't even interact. Run. You ain't even got to be doing nothing. And sometimes I be feeling like that's what be going on here. And I've got a view down Muriel and up Lime Street. With one potential escape route contained, yeah. Joe and Matt head off to secure the other. Okay. Some lads up there. And immediately clock two lads lurking at the bottom. As soon as Matt hops out the motor, the lads leg it. <laughs> they hop the gate like D1 athletes, golly. If only interceptors wore trainers and tracksuits. See the difference in the hop of the gate? I'm talking both of them that was running did that in one motion. <laughs> Police stepped up there, he was <sighs> leg over, look around, other leg. That's funny. Isn't Meanwhile, that funny? back on the street, Dan's doubling back. And it doesn't take long before old Hawkeye spots a third runner. I can't get anywhere to stop him. And what the lad doesn't know is that this silver motor is an unmarked police car. And the cops are straight after him and give chase into another garden. He's going down at the bottom. It's going back towards... The lad may have outrun our camera crew, but he hasn't outrun the interceptors. The arrest has been made by Mike Grant. By the time Matt gets there, the lad's already been carted off to the Nick. Hey, mate, he won't go anywhere because he's worn out. He's been following him in the corner. That's a runner because he's got bad wipes down and his fags. Runs into the corner like this, launches him, and he's against him. Still... The suspect Mike caught wasn't one of the men from the alleyway earlier on. But judging by what he was carrying, Joe reckons he is the bloke they were looking to score from. Got a bundle of Class A heroin and crack cocaine. Fair amount in there. They didn't want to stop. They've gone a good way over a lot of gardens. 
what customer workers are packed. There's a number of us. We've managed to pin them into a garden where this lad's had it in his hand. So good luck find. But the job's not done yet. The lad's just been strip searched in custody where more Class A's and a large amount of cash were found. So the boys are off to search his home address. See, to me, that's crazy. Like, just because you find him out in the streets and you see he trapped and you find all of this and that on him, you automatically have the right to go search his home? Like, that's just new. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's just, you don't even need no paperwork or nothing to go search. Just because you, if you find me outside of my home, that don't, in here in America at least, you can't just go search my home. <laughs> no, no. I'm not home. <laughs> Charles? When they get there, they rendezvous with the rest of the team. And inside, they're greeted by a familiar aroma. Coming here, strong smell of weed, and we found quite a large amount of cannabis in a shoe box. As well as the weed, there's a set of digital scales, a wrap of white powder, some nasty looking blades, and a large stash of designer gear. But most worrying of all, is what's under the bed. The it looks like a proper Amazon. It certainly looks the part, but the Sarge isn't so sure. I think the barrel's it's too that's small that's in that's diameter to be probably should be bigger than it. But... They send a photo of the weapon to the firearms team and soon get the green light to take a closer look. Yeah, it's not it's not a real firearm. Happy? Yeah. It's a BB gun. Yeah. Even so, a pretty convincing replica of the genuine article. You just assume it was real. It's got enough weight to it. It's, it's the correct size for the type. It's not. Need to take a closer look. Photo of the weapon to the firearms team. It's probably a BB gun. Isn't so sure. I think the barrel was too small in diameter to be. That's, that's not a. That's not true. Whatever he said, the barrel's too small in diameter. Yeah. No, it's not. That could be a five-seven round. So it ain't too small. <laughs> Five seven round is a twenty two millimeter. That that look big enough to be that. Just assume it's it real. It's got enough weight to it. It's, it's the correct size for the type of pistol it's replicating. And yeah, that's what it's re it looked like. It's replicating a five seven. Well, the, um, and if someone was pointing that at you, you're not going to stare too hard at the smaller barrel. It's even serial number just to make it look like a real one. But yeah, it's not, it's not a real firearm. BB guns are legal for adults to own, but are supposed to be finished in bright colors to distinguish them from the real thing. This one to- Even in America, that ain't working. Bright colors, they're camouflaging real guns as, as Nerf guns in America now. So, so to me, criminals are putting kids in danger when they do that type of stuff, but you know, Together with the rest of the items. I'm not condoning it, I'm just saying what's going on. You know. Here is being seized. A few hours ago, cops had no idea who this lad was. Now they've acquired a huge body of evidence that could help put him behind bars. In order to find things, you've got to be out there looking. You know, we got a report from a member of public of five intoxicated males in an alleyway. We went to the alleyway. You know, all of that happened from them two people reporting. They just stop the whole crime ring. <laughs> and we believe that there are Class A drug users looking to school. Dealt with that and sent them on their way. So then all of a sudden from out of nowhere, you game on, you've got a runner and you don't know what you're going to get at the end of it. We've managed to catch the lad who's had probably nearly 100 wraps in his pants and he's given us an address that's found a load of cash, more phones, cannabis and Class A and what we thought was a potentially viable firearm initially wrapped up in a bag. A nice little job, so yeah, happy. In total, more than 80 wraps of Class A's were seized. Police are currently awaiting the results of further forensic investigations. The case is ongoing. When hunting in packs, teamwork and razor-sharp coordination are the key ingredients to getting a result. Whether on two feet or on four wheels. 
It's Monday night and several units of interceptors are hunting down a blue Vauxhall Vectra that's been playing cat and mouse with the cops all evening. We've only got two or three years, haven't we? Yeah. In the Skoda VRS, packing 242 brake horsepower oh, are James moving. Macca McClintock and Gav Hall. Um, we've only got two Oscar Romeos with the team pack this evening. All units have temporarily lost sight of the Vectra. So we'll cut right onto Sapphire. But they've run its details and take a punt that it could be heading home. You just direct me, mate, to that over address. It's going to be one of your first rights he's most likely to take. That'll take him into Coxmoor. The race is on to see which unit spots him first. That's coming towards us. Right. No. And Mac has picked them all to the post. Yep, there he is. Having whistled past Macca's right ear, the Vectra's disappearing into the darkness. I got it. It's the world's worst three-point turn. Golly. <laughs> Six five have come in. He is A611, Bucknell Road, towards generally the Badger Box, shoulder and bottom. We've got to uh, no view of the vehicle coming in. Travel offside to offside at speed. No view of the occupants. But despite the Vectra's head start, it's no match for the VRS. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. And Mac is back on the tail of the runaway motor. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get on. Yeah. The passenger door is flung open, but it's the driver Gap wants. Yeah, we're, uh, we're with it. And there's Miro. The driver trying to get out innocently, like, whoa, what? Within seconds, Dan Butler, together with several other units, arrive on the scene. Five pairs of hands later, the lad is finally contained. Oh, I'm doing this. Right. You've just been driving like an idiot, that's why. Yeah. I could. A harsh but entirely fair assessment. Stand up. He pulled in here, and then we just came in behind him. Why are you doing that then? Who was the passenger that's ran that? Yeah. Gats that here? Coat, that is. Where's she gone? They're in the car. Yeah, yeah. The female passenger, who attempted to run, has already been taken away to be searched by a female officer. Got her immediately. Meanwhile, a search of the driver has drawn a blank. Why are you running? Is that Macca just here? I don't know. Nothing heading it, is it? No. What's more, he's fully licensed and insured to drive the Vectra. Stand against the car. So what? He was just having a good night out on the town, playing around, playing cat and mouse. Let me just get a breath box. Plus, on the breathalyzer. Just one long blow until I tell you to stop. Keep going, keep going harder, keep going and stop. Thank you. It's analyzing your sample, mate. Zero, you've passed the test, OK? He blows zero. Your back's all fine, OK? Clearly, this isn't your average fail to stop. No, I'm not fail. I'm not fail. I'm not meant to be. Look there. there. Right, so that's it, then. Yeah. Or is it police bail or club bail? Police bail. I would stop for you. It's unbelievable. Well, OK. Hey, that's ridiculous. It turns out the driver's on a police-imposed bail. The conditions state he's not supposed to be with the person he was travelling with. Oh. You in first. Watch your head. That's it. But Dan reckons there's something else going on. And I'll shut the door so we don't get wet and we'll do this drug swipe. Now going to require a sample of saliva for a drugs test, okay? Because you've committed a moving road traffic offence. Do you use drugs at all? No. No. Okay. Just lean forward. Sit. Sit your tongue out. Brilliant. Okay, that's got enough saliva. The drug wipe delivers results in less than ten minutes. So have you taken any cannabis today? No. Okay. Not today, no. So you're expecting that to be all okay then, yeah? Yeah. yeah. 21 years Ford Escort. Oh. Favorite sporting team, Nottingham Forest. By being tough on crime, not born Dan says he's. Despite being tough on crime, not born Dan says his all time hero is local legend Robin Hood. He could be considered an outlaw and a thief, but at least he never failed a drugs wipe. Okay, mate, I've got some bad news for you. So you've tested positive for driving with that cannabis in your system. 
While Dan readies the lad for a trip to the Nick, his band of merry men have compared notes and finally figured out what went down. A colleague plucked the car and then we just ran it through and he recognised the, uh, the insured party as being this male here. We've turned on him, he's seen us and he's made off at speed into a state doing silly overtakes. Uh, we've lost him unfortunately initially and then uh, another colleague's found him later on and again he's blowing reds trying to get away from them, driving with excess speed. Anyone convicted of drug driving receives a minimum 12-month ban, a possible fine and anything up to six months in prison. Having failed his roadside test, this lad will be asked to provide an evidential sample of blood at the station. All in all, a decent evening's work for Dan and the team. We were all kind of in the right area at the right time. A decent e He already got the prison uniform on. Sure. Evening's work for Dan and ah. the team. We were all kind of in the right area at the right time. Obviously, some of the ARV crews were there, we were there. So I don't think he was ever going to slip the net, but whether his cannabis in his systems led him to drive that way, but luckily nobody's been hurt, no cars damaged, he's in custody. He's going to give his sample to the nurse and we'll see what the reading comes what back as. they put that on? Following a review of the evidence, the man was refused charge for drug driving and he wasn't charged for breach of his bail conditions. However, he was served with a traffic offence report for driving without due care and attention. No further action was taken against the female in the car. All that and got away with it is what I just heard. Drive around, people, stop, stop. Still to come, Gibbs... Quiet. Cold and crisp January... It's a cold and crisp January afternoon in Knott's. It's a 1400cc Kiri. But there's a hot motor on the loose, so Hobbsy and Bully are hunting it down. A silver Kia Rio was stolen sort of sometime last night, sort of just after 8 o'clock in Mansfield, just where we're headed now. Apparently it's been quite active today in and around that local area. We've just had a sighting of it probably 15 minutes ago now, so we're just all getting into the area, so we can pick it up. The Kia's registered keeper is a woman. Oh, yeah, no the person spotted driving it today seems unlikely to be her. Oh, hey. <laughs> if anyone was going to run from that car, that's him. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the masked motorist has just dropped off the radar. He's not pinged any other cameras yet? No. So hey, that CCTV is crazy. While they driving, you can ping them and just square in on their location. That's That's... But when Hobbsy gets into Mansfield, he kills the Blues and Twos and considers his options. Should we try Mackie D's? Mate, the last, last one I found was in Mackie's. The one before that was at the garage buying fag, so it's not a bad shot. Bully's proudest Point moment three. as a cop came when he BMW. ran a special protection operation West for the Duke up. and Duchess of Sussex. Which one's Mackie's left here? Yeah, left at this one, where the van is. From Royal Watchman, to Royal with cheese. Like some silver cars in there. Not in there. For once, the Golden Arches failed to deliver. Straight up, man. Straight up. Yeah, we'll see if that... For once, the pizza Golden hut? Arches failed to deliver. I haven't seen a Pizza Hut that actually still looks like the original Pizza Hut in like 10 years. That's crazy. Y'all still got Pizza Huts that look like Pizza Huts. I don't even think I've seen a Pizza Hut period in Florida. That's... Straight up, man. Straight up. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you. But now the key has been spotted by a colleague nearby. Straight on, yeah? Yeah, go straight on. Hobbsy hits the blues. So it could be anywhere around here. I'd go lights off, mate, and float along here. And then kills them again. Bully reckons they could be close. I do what? Yeah, fish? Sheep Bridge Lane. Is that behind us? Stand by. That's half a mile from here. Uh, there they go, they know it. It's Dom and Fellow interceptor Dom has sped ahead in the unmarked 3 Series. Dom from Fast and Furious in the 3 Series. Let's get it. Yeah, we've just got sighted something. We're in the Bridge Lane. We're just ahead of it. A second unmarked unit is also closing in. Let's see. 
Honestly, when they was talking about McDonald's, I thought it was like, hey, let's take a break. Let's go get some McDonald's. I was like, oh, let's stop. Now, Bully's seen it too. It's there, isn't it, behind us? Is it? I'm sure that's it, behind Yeah, it's there, it's there. It's there. When three units pounce, the result is never in doubt. Got driver out, people, stop, stop. What? Got driver out, people, stop, stop. Is that an Audi R6? Is that what it's called? Hold on. I gotta look this up. Audi R RS. Is it RS3? That's what that is. This an Audi RS3? No, thank you. Is this an Audi RS3? As a police interceptor, as an undercover guard. That's crazy. The young driver's wrapped up in the same cosy outfit he was photographed in earlier. Who shall I? No, that's a BMW. Okay, wait, so. BMW. 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 Excuse me, BMW. him in cuffs is almost as easy as getting him to fess up. Got four license insurance or anything then? No. But when it comes to the motor, he's denying everything. Oh, I didn't know it was stolen, so it got key. He claims he's only just bought the so car long. this morning. If only Bully had a pound for every time he'd heard that one. He's bought it, Dom, it's a big mistake. Exactly. The lad's story is not the only thing that's a bit sus. He's saying that's bamba. He says that's mamba. The cops have found some herb that the driver claims is mamba, a synthetic cannabis substitute similar to spice. So it looks very similar to cannabis, but it doesn't have the distinctive smell. But it'll just get seized and then he'll get interviewed about it. Mamba is a class B drug, so carries the same penalties as cannabis. So, oh. so why not? Do All right. Oh. But perhaps most baffling of all is the ice pole he's been clutching throughout the entire arrest. A curious choice of snack on what's shaping up to be the chilliest day of the year. I think there's another one there melting on the front seat, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one on the front seat there. <laughs> Why would you eat ice pops? <laughs> <laughs> My hands are absolutely freezing right now. It's about three degrees, so quite a why you'd be eating ice pops on a day like this, I don't know. Perhaps the lad was inspired by his exotic set of wheels. It's a Kia Rio. It's in a Rio. <laughs> Copacabana. <laughs> ah, the Copacabana, the hottest spot north of Mansfield. Kia Rio. The lad sambled off to the Nick with a rap sheet longer than a list of Brazilian I'm World Cup winners. He's got no licence, he's got no insurance, obviously, on it. I'm assuming he's got no receipt for the vehicle that he's purchased, so he's gone back to Mansfield custody now just to be dealt with for that and uh, see what can come up with. At least we've got the car back for the owner um, within the day, so it's not, not a bad job, really. Various little packets of drugs. He's saying it's Mamba. It looks, it looks like it probably is that way. Yeah, it's just another sorry story of drugs, isn't it, really? On top of the motoring offences and possession of the Mamba, the driver was charged with taking a vehicle without consent. He was sentenced to 18 weeks in prison, disqualified from driving for six months, and ordered to pay more than £500. You know what's crazy, man? Like, my boy, when I was in Chicago, his girl, like, his girl, um, she was so controlling. If, she, if he didn't have the car back at a certain time, she would call it in stolen. Just to, just to, for a level of control, that's wild. I mean, I don't know why I saw that story. Tell them leave a like, comment, man. I told y'all about liking these. If this video don't got, if this video does not have 100 likes while in the premiere, ain't nothing gonna happen. I'm just gonna, be, I'm not gonna even, you know, I'm just gonna be like, dang. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm gone.